So today we're out with a spark and we're going to be looking at the active track. Now the active track is what I class as the best mode on this drone. Um, I used to love using it. I haven't used it for a long time so it's going to be a bit of a, a novelty to me to see how it, well it works but I can remember at the time it was pretty good. You can do a 360, you can follow you. Uh, and also, don't forget guys, it's the camera that's following the object. Be it me, whatever I fix it on, or another person, or the car, the bicycle, once it's tracked on it, that's what it will follow. Now a lot of people I know used to use their phone only, so they ain't got to worry about using um, the controller. But I don't like doing that, I prefer to have better control using the controller with the drone just in case something goes wrong and the only main reason why that is is so when you're walking or whatever uh, you know that the drone is still following you because it it does sometimes if there's an object it might just clamp on that and then the drone will stop um, you won't go any further it, the drone will just stay there until you take control of it again now the other thing is what you can do is um it's all right there's a helicopter I can hear in the distance. Um, the other thing is, while it's moving, the avoidance is on. So if there was an obstacle, if you was a little bit low, there was a tree in the way, it would stop. Would it pick you up after the tree? I don't think so. Usually, once it stops, it stops. Uh, with a following me, which we haven't got on this drone, that tends to, it would carry on. But with the active track, once it loses you, very, it very rarely goes back onto you again. So that, anyway, I'm going to stop now because this helicopter's coming in uh, and we'll see how the active track works. Meet Spark, small, colorful, smart, a powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere. It's so clever, it activates by recognizing you. Just launch it from the palm of your hand. It even returns when you call it. And land like this. Easy. Can't get everyone in the shot? No problem. Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and come home safely. Think you got smooth moves? Spark's footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those epic shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. Spark your aerial creativity anywhere. All you need to do is seize the moment. So I've got the drone ready. I've got, don't forget guys with the, because it's a Wi-Fi drone, you have to go into your Wi-Fi to get the spark. Once that's all done, it's saying ready to go. So we get the drone off the ground first, because you've got to get a drone off the ground first. So I take it off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, I'm in a, it's a low flying zone here. So I just take that. Okay, so now you go into your, um, what I call your uh, controller there, the little box on the left. 
and then you, you've got active track okay what I'm gonna do first I'm just gonna set up the active track the drain needs to come up a bit so I'm in front of the drone I'll just bring down the gimbal a bit so th there I am and if you just touch the screen you see the little green box come up now I'm going to keep up this thing on here anyway now it's already recognized that I'm a walking person and not a car so I press go now the little white dot you see at the side there this will show tell you how fast it's going to go either the left or the right what I'm going to do at the moment I'm just going to leave that and we're just going to walk the other way and we'll just see how good it is so I'm going to turn around see it's already moving it's been raining here a lot so I'm going to have to be careful so the dry anyway it's following me now that little white dot that you can see if I move that to the right I should say that will start to go around me even while I'm walking it's doing a 360 around me now if I wanted to I could speed that up to a hundred percent and making sure that there's no obstacles um, the drone will not will keep going obviously until it loses control of you so I'm just gonna make sure it's just stopped okay so press it right I'm gonna go the other way now go it's gonna go full What I can do, if it, that's the way it will stop. So, now they say if you keep it about 28, 20, let's bring it, it's 26, and that'll do. It's a bit there. Let's, let's walk away from it a bit. So, it's picked me up again. So it is a little bit um, all over the place, but it's not too bad. But if you just do, if you just wanted the drone to follow you, then just bring it back into the middle. Okay, so there you are. Let's bring the drone down a bit. Now it will say if it's too close. Yeah, see, saying I'm too close. So if I bring the drone back. Bring the drone back a bit. Okay. Now that, that's plenty for the drone. Let's bring that gimbal up a bit. Because you can still obviously still control the gimbal. Let's press that. That's it. Let's bring that gimbal up a bit. Okay. That's about right. Bring it up a bit. It is a bit messing about. Obviously, keeping on the battery, it's sixty-five percent. So in the mud. <laughs> now I'm going to walk towards the drone now. Um, it's a little bit close that so I can bring the drone away Let's bring it away Okay Let's let it get on me Okay See if you feel like it's not doing it right just do it again you can come out of it you've got a little um, little red square red cross I should say and that will close it but don't forget you've got to press the go okay cannot track object 
cannot track subject. Okay, do it again, press go. Okay, so now this is what I mean about it doesn't always work. Now I've got to turn my back on it, see if that makes any difference. It is, it is moving. Um, I think I can bring up the gimbal a little bit. Now, you see where it's changing colour now? It means it's starting to lose me a little bit. It's, and now it's lost me. So, it can, and it's, anyway, it's gone back onto me. Got to press the go again. Um, and we're back on it again. But yeah, it is a bit iffy. But anyway, Hopefully that's giving you some idea. Let's bring the drone in. Let's bring the drone in. This has come out of the tracking mode, sorry. Right, come out of tracking mode. Um, come out of that. Okay, it's not letting me. So you've got to press a little tracking mode, then normal. There you go. Flight intelligent mode. That's what I've remembered. That's it. Let's bring it in. Bring it on camera. So I'm going to bring it down to land now. Uh, and then we'll just have a little bit of a chat. Landing. Okay. Didn't go too bad, the active track. Now I haven't used the active track for three or four years really to be honest um, and to be quite honest <laughs> I thought it worked quite well I mean it does show you I mean when you watch these like what I call professional drone flyer people it's all perfect but I think a lot of outtakes have been taken they made, they made the video short if, it, if the drones lost track or whatever um, but to be personal I think it does happen a lot as you saw there the drone was quite close to me really and you could see the green turning sort of yellowy that means it's starting to lose you a bit um it, it and it did sort of come off me and you've got to press the go so if you was walking without your controller or your phone you wouldn't know that and to me you are wasting your bit your battery I, I quite like the 360 um in the next video i'm going to show we're going to go with the car and just see if it can keep up it says supposedly 26 miles per hour we'll see if that's true um i'll be amazed if that's right probably more like 15 myself but anyway we'll see how that goes i've got no uh, obstacles here but anyway that's that's gonna be in the next video uh oh, if you've got any questions about the spark please ask me guys i've i've got some knowledge <laughs> on the spark i did have, i did have a few people ask the other day can you still buy the Spark? No, you can't buy the Spark at all on DJI site at all. Um, Amazon, you might be lucky, you know, like America or Germany, something like that. Um, but even even Amazon, you might, you know, I would say, end of the day, it's always best to check out eBay. People are always um, updating their drones. Um, and obviously there's a new drone coming out soon. They, Mini Free Pro IR looks exciting. Will I buy one? I don't know. But at the moment, that's coming out Easter time. Anyway, as I will say, guys, fly safe. Hope you enjoy these videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.